be talking about mobility in the enterprise and how it's relevant in today's context. Right? Uh, as CIOs, if you just sit back and just relax and see what's going around you, you can identify three, three key trends. Right? One, devices are expanding. And devices are not restricted to the, to, to the laptop. It's not desktop any further. It's mobile devices. Right? There could be um, consumer electronics which are, which are being connected to the internet. So the number of IP addresses, I believe pretty soon we're going to be running out of IP addresses. I'm sure some of you must have read that news article. One of the reasons is what? Is because a lot of mobile devices, a lot of electronics items are today being connected to the, to the internet. So the number of devices that organizations need to take care of is expanding tremendously on one, one hand. Data is increasing tremendously. Every 12 to 15 months, I believe, each one of you would see your database size doubling. Anybody disagree with that? I doubt. And I believe there's something like 15 petabytes of data being created every day. Every day, 15 petabytes of data is being created every day. Most of your organizations are contributing a small portion to that. And the third trend is about decision making. Today, it's not restricted to the top layers of the management, no. Everyone right from the top to the bottom are involved in some decision making or the other. And they need information which is decision ready. So these three trends, I mean, we keep keeping these three trends in mind, we formed our, our vision from a sideways perspective. We do a great job of managing data, yes. We do a great job of creating decision ready information from that data. And that's not good enough. You need to take it to the person who needs it on the device that he is carrying at the place where he is. Not always that he is in, in front of a laptop or a desktop or on a local area network. He may be on the, in Goa uh, or vacationing or in a conference like this. So he needs to get that on the device that he is carrying. So these are the three pillars of our vision. Manage data, analyze that data to create decision ready information and mobilize that. So I'll talk more about mobility today from the third pillar perspective. We've been a strong player in mobility all along. From way back in 1992, when we first created the first mobile database, first mobile web platform, first mobile device management solution way back in 94, to today, when it's almost like 30 percent of our revenue, mobility forms 30 percent of our revenue, more than 50 percent of the new licenses uh, come from messaging, from, from mobility products. So let's step back once again and see, look at this small picture there. It's a picture I actually clicked. This is a village somewhere tucked away in, uh, in the interiors of Karnataka. Okay? It's about 100 people strong, 15 houses. But there's something special about this. You know what? Anybody? I won't say it's unique because there are several such villages across the country similar to this. Special in, still in some sense. What is that? Anybody? I know lunch is just waiting, but just, just think of something which could be different in this place. Not digitally divided. They have access to information, okay. Okay, it's, it's fairly straightforward, very simple. They just don't have electricity. They don't have power. Okay? They don't have power. But still, you see that girl there? It's not very clear, but she's actually caught, uh, speaking on the phone. And that's the power of mobile application, mobility today. It's reached places where there's no power. Okay, obviously you'll ask, hey, what is it? What is the charge of it? Right? Of course, there are ways and means. And they're always, you know, necessity is a, uh, is a mother of innovation. So there's a lot of business houses, shops, small petty shops, who actually provide that electricity to them to charge their phones on a regular basis and, and maybe make, a money, make, make some money out of it. But the point is, today, mobility has reached across the country in a, in a way we never imagined five years or ten years back. That lady could be probably the one among the 650 million mobile users today in the country. 650 million uh, users in the country. And I believe uh, almost like 91%, 91.48% of the population is today covered. But by the way, the gentleman who spoke in the Vodafone presentation about not getting coverage in his flat in Mumbai, obviously is not one of those 
manual for it because could be falling into the list. But anyway, um, uh, the point is we have come a long way in terms of mobility. It's, it's almost like mobile, mobile, mobility revolution is happening. Most of the railroads and highways, 90, 91%, 92% is covered today on mobility. So what does it mean to enterprise? As CIOs of business enterprises, it means quite a bit. Because today, what you're saying is, 70% of mobile workers, sorry, workers would be mobile, would have access to company information, access to enterprise information on their mobile devices, uh, talking about by 2012. And almost like 45% of the enterprises, this is a survey which has done, which says that they would support personal hand, hand devices, personal devices, personal mobile phones. And by 2012, it's expected that almost 90% of all enterprises would have at least one mobile application. I'm sure all of you would be shaking your head and saying, yeah, I have something at least you know, happening or happened, uh, which is a mobile application in my company. But things have changed quite a bit. From what was single point-to-point -point application, tactical uh, siloed kind of application, which means uh, one application being taken to a set of business users who need that application on their mobile phone. It's gone far beyond to being a more strategic, more uh, enterprise-wide um, platform, enterprise-wide initiative, which can take care of multiple applications at the back end with multiple user groups ac getting access to that information at the back end. So that is what the trend is, and that is what is going to be happening in the next few years. What, the, what does that mean? Across the organization, be it right at the top or at the bottom, people need access to information. And people need access to information on their mobile phones. Right at the top, at the executive level, they might, of course, need an email. Today, you would hardly find a CE. Most of you, of course, would be accessing an email more on the BlackBerry or, the, or on the mobile device than on the laptop or on the desktop, right? Same way, you would need KPIs. Niranjan talked about dashboards. That dashboard has to come on a, on a mobile device for you to be uh, able to use that effectively. And that's where you know, uh, real mobility, the power of mobility comes in for the higher level people. At the bottom, the, 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 the workers, the business workers, the task workers, they need mobility for various reasons like, for example, CRM. The sales people need, going out in the field need information about customers, information about the pipe, and provide sufficient information that managers can utilize for their reporting and so on. Field service, an engineer going down to, let's say, a service and elevator. So we have what is as a customer. So an engineer who goes down to repair an uh, elevator needs information about that, what the job is going to go with, what the customer, who is the customer, what's the background work that has gone in there before, what's been the previous, you know, for all that honest fingertips. And that's important to data. And of course, as line of manager, uh, line of business managers, you need access to workflow where you are on the move, you need to approve a certain workflow, uh, like, like for example a purchase order system. You need to be able to approve or reject a, a certain uh, cert certain workflow which comes to you, like a purchase order or a, a travel request and so on. So that is, is what mobility is all about for line of business managers. So what is, I mean, in a nutshell what this means is that, now you need to step back and look at this from a enterprise platform perspective, not individual, you know, point-to-point -point application. Like, for example, uh, earlier, uh, let's say the sales force, Hindu Sandliver, for example, or Unilever, it's a great example, where they had about 10,000 people accessing a back-end sales system on mobile devices. Very uh, standardized uh, device accessing a very specific application, the point-to-point -point application. But that may not be good enough anymore. So today, you need to look at it from an enterprise perspective, where uh, be what the requirement from the business user is, it could be just plain simple email or contacts, or it could be workflow or applications, or at a higher level getting dashboards and um, you know, maybe documents to view um, at a, on a real-time basis. But all this has to be done in a, in a manner which is secure and um, taking care of a lot of devices and being able to manage those devices effectively. What that means is, at the back end, you could have data sources which could be residing on multiple heterogeneous databases. It could be applications, um, 
uh, which span from simple, uh, let's say, HRMS applications to an inventory application to a purchase order or a finance application, various applications in the back talking to different databases. On the front, it could be heterogeneous devices. No company is wanting to standardize on one specific device. It's very rare. So you have Blackberry, iPhone, Symbian, whatever you want to have at the front end. So the, the mesh that you see is fairly complicated. And this complexity is what a, a software product like Sybase Unwired Platform brings as a solution. So we manage this complexity with Sybase Unwired Platform. And what that is, is nothing but a set of a uh, set of tools, I would say, which can help you to connect at the back end to heterogeneous databases, heterogeneous sources of data, and in the front, be able to connect seamlessly to multiple different heterogeneous devices. Not just what is available today, but what would probably come in the near future. So that is a, uh, is a connectivity from both sides. And while you're doing this, you should be able to, you know, in a, in a simple and easy way, develop these mobile applications. So you have access to tools like Eclipse and Visual Studio. Uh, you will most probably have those skills within your organization. So those simple tools should be able to be used to get your application, mobile applications ready. So this, what is Cybase Unwired Platform? It's a middleware. It's a platform. It's also an AD, application development environment, which can help you to create mobile applications that can connect to heterogeneous databases, heterogeneous sources of data, and also in the front, connect to multiple heterogeneous devices. And while doing all this, you need to maintain control. So device management, uh, the way you actually uh, send out data to devices is extremely important. And where Sybase again comes in very uh, handy with this uh, set of tools called Afaria, which does device management, management and security. Now what is this? Basically what this means is, uh, let's say you have a new user coming in. He needs a new, a new um, phone, but you need to give him enough access, enough part of the application which can reside on his phone in a quick manner, and he could be anywhere, not necessarily in the in the in the place where the data center is. So, in a seamless manner, how do we um, take that information which he requires and apply that, provision that onto his mobile phone is what provisioning not what. A new update to the software comes in tomorrow. You need to seamlessly send that out, out to across to. 650, 700, 800 people in a, in a, in a jiffy. That, again, is provisioning. And what is decommissioning? Now, what's happened in the whole course of things is that the mobile phone has become extremely important. Because a whole lot of enterprise data now resides in the phone. Not on the data center, not on the, on the laptops, it's on the phone. So therefore, the, the importance of losing a phone is not is now today much more than what it was before. So when you lose such a phone, you should be able to decommission it be able to uh, wipe out all the data so that it doesn't get into some wrong hands. And again, the same user gets a new phone, you should be able to recommission and redeploy all the data and the applications immediately. So that is what decommissioning and pushing. And in a regular basis, obviously the data that's moving from your backend servers through SUP to the devices should be secure. So there should be sufficient encryption and uh, uh, security measures to take to, to make sure that to somebody else not you know, getting access to your data. It's extremely important to do this. That is, in a nutshell, what device management and security is. So SUP, Sybase Unwired Platform, is a middleware. It's a, uh, it's a tool to develop your applications, as well as providing you device management and security as well. Uh, to sum up, it can take care of enterprise data changes. Now, today you have one application. Tomorrow you want to have multiple applications, a third application, a fourth application and you could bring in a, a, a new database, all that, those changes should be able to be taken care of. In the front, you need to take care of devices. And today that's happening faster than what we can think, right? Android has come in recently, and then tomorrow something else will come in. A new version of uh, Windows Mobile has been introduced, introduced. So all that increases the complexity on the device technology. So SUP takes care of, manages this complexity. And all the while providing a consistent development platform using known tools like Eclipse and uh, a couple of products uh, which are ready to roll out. I just want to touch upon, and these are co-developed, co-innovated with SAP. One is uh, Mobile Workflow for SAP. 
So any SAP backend ERP application which has a workflow could now be brought into a mobile phone with this product instead of <coughs> It's a ready to roll out product, doesn't need much of uh, uh, you know, customization, which can take in um, the backend process. And when it comes to a workflow uh, decision point, it would be triggered as an email into uh, the inbox of the person who needs to take the decision. So one of those line items in the email, one of the items in the email inbox would be the, the trigger point for that workflow. And when he clicks on that, he would probably get um, that portion of the backend application which is relevant and based on which he can take a decision to approve or not to approve. Right? And today, I mean, this is available for travel requests, for vacation requests, purchase order uh, approval, uh, time sheet submittal and so on. But this is something which can be readily rolled out. And this is a co-innovated product for SAP uh, with SAP. The second product is uh, mobile CRM, mobile sales for uh, SAP, where the SAP CRM application can now be mobilized on your phone. Um, you can get your contacts, your opportunities. You can see your pipeline and being analyzed on the phone. Um, you can enter these, uh, enter a new contact, enter, enter a new account. All that can be done on the mobile device. Fairly straight. Away. Okay, so. That's about SUP. So where do we stand with respect to um, the, the competition and so on? Uh, Gartner rates us right at the top as far as mobile enterprise application space goes, right at the top. Um, as far as mobile device management solutions go, Forrester again puts sideways right at the top. We are definitely a, a, a leader and a key player in the mobility space today. A large number of customers across the world and across <laughs> Several industries are today powered, powering their mobility applications with Sideways. Uh, let's touch upon a couple of them. Couple of them. Uh, this probably would be the largest deployment of mobility applications in the world. U.S. Census, where they actually counted 350 plus million people in the span of one one and a half months, was working on Sideways solution. About 150,000. 1,50,000 uh, surveyors who walked out into the streets in the US with a mobile device which had a sideways application. It was a uh, project done along with Harris and Sulis Accenture. Huge application. And when somebody goes to take the details of a household, not only that is entering that data, that's pretty straightforward, but he's also able to connect to the backend system and validate with previous year's data, previous census data, not previous years. So 10 years back when they are taking the census, that data is stored at the back. So when you're actually taking uh, details from a household or a person, that data could be validated, checked for correctness or whatever with the backend database is already there. Another local example here is about Indian database. It's nothing to do with mobile devices as such, but still comes into the domain of mobility in a big way. Uh, under our ticketing system, when you walk into uh, let's say Panjim station and you want to take an unreserved ticket to um, Oscar da Gama or walk into Bandra and you want to take an unreserved ticket to Andheri the system that would issue a ticket somewhere in, uh, in the north you could have real problems people would actually throw stones if they are not able to issue tickets this is a very critical application for railways and this accounts for almost 60-70% of the revenue of railways uh, this Obviously, it could be applied to a lot of situations where uh, uh, online offline connectivity or online offline um, situation is present. Like, for example, an uh, insurance agent who goes down to uh, a remote place where there could be connectivity, but there not be connectivity. And he wants to renew a life, uh, insurance policy that is given last year. So, he has all the information on his mobile device. He can probably issue a policy then and there. Today, it doesn't happen because today one needs to get connected to the back end, get that authorized and approved, and then issue a policy it can happen pretty much real time on an online basis. Another example of course um, uh, in the retail space is PepsiCo where uh, this is a worldwide example where uh, bottling distribution houses send out people on the field with mobile devices which has access to uh, dealer information, distributor information and what inventory they are carrying and pick up orders and get that orders entered into the mobile device, get processed almost instantaneously. 